Brian back with an XRP update. Uh, last XRP video I did was probably three or four days ago. And we talked about this breakout and we projected a target for that breakout. We're going to get back to that in a second here. I got a really great article for you here that uh, they're talking that this uh, settlement could come in this week. So I, th I know that everybody is into that. So we're going to jump on this and... Uh, and read this article if, if i could ask you to please hit that subscribe button i would appreciate that so much uh especially if you like xrp updates i i enjoy covering this coin and we cover you know 10 to 15 different alts so uh come be a part of our group we'd love to have you here so let's get into this thing here it says crypto lawyer says sec versus ripple verdict may come this week uh, crypto lawyer John Deaton believes that a verdict in the SEC versus Ripple case may come as soon as this week. Deaton believes that Ripple can appeal the ruling in case the SEC wins a favorable verdict. The upside and downside of Ripple's potential loss are yet to be determined. Crypto lawyer John Deaton took to Twitter to share his thoughts on the latest developments in the Securities and Exchange Commission's controversial lawsuit against Ripple. Deaton is of the option, opinion that XRP, the crypto, at the center of this lawsuit, has the most attractive risk-to-reward ratio. Yeah, how about it? <clears throat> I mean, if you, uh, not financial advice, but geez, you know, if you set a sell order for, you know, if it drops so much, you know, and the rewards of it <laughs> on the upside are uh, astronomical, I would imagine if... Uh, we're all going to be smiling if this thing comes out on the right side. It says XRP has the most attractive risk reward ratio, in my opinion. The judge's ruling is coming down within the next few weeks, maybe this week. If the SEC wins, what's the downside from 45 cents? Ripple appeals and we get the status quo. Ripple wins and it's made clear XRP isn't a security. And uh, I'm not going to go through the rest of this, but. Uh, we can only imagine what this thing will fly up to. Um, holy cow, wouldn't that be fantastic? Uh, it could happen, guys, this week. That'd be awesome. Here's the top 100 cryptos for the day. You know, when we started this day, everything, almost every single coin on here, besides, I think, two, Flare and something else, were in the red. So that's looking fantastic. Here's the Fear and Greed Index. We're up 2.2% for the market cap. Volumes down 4.73%. Bitcoin dominance is dropping. It's down 1.06%. That's good to see. It means the altcoins are taking more of the market. So the crypto fear and greed indicator is at 59. We were at a 64 yesterday. Uh, here's from Coin Market Cap. Your biggest gainers and biggest losers. I don't know why it's only putting three on the right side. There should be ten there, but I've tried reloading this thing numerous times. So maybe it's Coin Market Cap is having a problem. But um, whatever Rocket Pull is, that's that's at the top there today. Biggest gainer. So XRP is now there at number six at uh, nine percent, fifty-two cents. Now let's get to this chart you know when we were talking you can go back and watch that video when we were talking about a potential breakout here we took the width of this uh, wedge and measured it out right up there to the uh, 56 and a half cent roughly area that lines up with weekly um, resistance this is XRP on the 12 hour so I could definitely see it getting to that point and maybe uh, Maybe bouncing back, you know, to this level or something as support. You know, it's going to have to come back sometime. That's the bottom line. If we put this thing on the four hour, you can see the RSI down there. Um, let me get rid of that. I apologize. You can see that RSI is getting a little overextended on that four hour. The one hour is on its way down. The 12 hour, 12 hour still has some room to go up. The eight is at the top and the daily is is also near the top so this could be stalling out for a little bit you know i could see it probably maybe coming back um let's see here we have some major support right right about there at the top of that uh wedge that started so you know i could see this thing maybe uh busted let's see here let me get my uh brush here i could see this thing maybe coming up hitting that then coming back and bouncing around you know could come could come back do an ABC correction and bounce around it's hard to say we'll have to wait and and uh, and see what happens here um, first of all I'd like to see it hit that target that uh, 
that we put up there that would be fantastic to see so i still think it has some up upside potential at least up to that uh, 56 cent area i would imagine we made it to 53 and a half cents today so it might come up a little short don't know but these lines especially on the daily they are uh they are pretty much straight up here let's look at this four hour yeah, and you can even see this rising wedge that was in there. And rising wedge is most of the time break to the bottom, and this thing broke up. So, uh, beautiful breakout. Looks like it might be pulling back a little bit now to retest that, uh, retest that former resistance as support right up here. You know, it could stall out here for a day or two. Who knows? This thing has been flying. And if this lawsuit gets settled this week, oh my gosh, holy cow, wow, you talk about a big green candle. Might be the biggest green candle you've ever seen in crypto, so um, I'll keep my ears open, and as soon as I hear something or see something, I will get it on here, guys. So please hit that subscribe button. Would love to have you. Uh, big XRP fan right here, and um, I will keep you updated to the fullest extent. So thank you so much for watching my video.